Twiddle toys? You haven't? Well, that's because there's only one of them. But perhaps we'd better begin at the best place for stories, at the beginning. In a busy street in a busy town stood a toy shop. In its window were toys and dolls of every kind. On a shelf lived a teddy bear, a gollywog, and the toy whose name, of course, was Twizzle. The gollywog was quite new. And so he didn't know all the things that Twizzle could do. I say, what a funny-looking toy you are. I've never seen anything like you before. What are you? I'm Twizzle. And I do. Oh, what do you do? I Twizzle. He Twizzles very well, too. I, I don't know what you mean. I've never seen anyone Twizzle before. Oh, oh, oh. You can tell he hasn't been here long Jump down and show him your trick, Twizzle. First, he twizzled his arms. And then he twizzled his legs. Boom! Oh, 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 dear. Oh, my goodness. Don't ever do that again. Why, it twizzle. My goodness, you are clever. How do you do it? I don't know. I made that. If I want to reach anything, I just... With all my arms and legs until I'm as tall as a lamppost. You must be very expensive to buy. I cost two and sixpence. I'm so expensive that I think I'll have to stay in the toy shop forever. For I don't know any boy or girl who could afford to buy me. Never mind, Twiddle. We love having you here. That's very kind of you, Mr. Bear. And I want to stay here forever. Toy shop is my home. The very next day, a little girl looked in the window. She looked at the train, and then she looked right through the window and saw Twizzle on the shelf. What a funny looking toy! He's got eyes as big as saucers, hair as red as a carrot, and a green woolen hat with a long green tassel. Ooh! I'm going to buy him right. Good morning to you. And what would you like to buy? I want that funny-looking boy doll up there. I saved up two shillings, so I hope he doesn't cost any more than that. I'm afraid he costs two and sixpence. You see, he's a very special twizzly toy. I don't care how special he is. I've only got two shillings. And if you won't let me have him for that, I'll cry and stamp my feet and scream and... Oh, dear, oh, dear, please don't make such a noise. I see I'll have to give you Twizzle for two shillings after all. Poor Twizzle. As soon as he heard this, he began to shiver and shake. For he certainly didn't want to belong to such a naughty little girl. Hi, Twizzle. You can hide in here if you like. Oh, well, thank you so much. You are kind. Move over while I come in. Are you sure you haven't got two and six? He's really such a lovely toy that it... Oh, good gracious me, where has he got to? I saw him here a minute ago. Maybe he's fallen on the floor. You'd better find him for me right away. I'm not going to leave this shop until I can take him with me. Can't you make yourself smaller? You're treading on my toes. Ouch. Oh, do be careful. I'm sorry, but I can't help it. Oh, my nose is tickling. I'm sure I'm going to sneeze. The shopkeeper will find you if you do. Hold your nose and count to five. One, two, three, four. <laughs> what was that noise? It's coming from the jack-in-the-box. <laughs> now he's a very nice toy. Why don't you have him instead, eh? I'll give him to you for a shilling. 
because he's got the rusty spring. You know, have a look at him for yourself. He's awful. What a dreadful thing. I wouldn't have him if he were the last boy in the world. I want that twizzle toy. So you'd better hurry up and find him for me. Why don't you come back tomorrow? That will give me time to have a look on all the shelves. I know he's here somewhere. Mm. Very well. I'll come back tomorrow afternoon. But if you haven't found him by then, I'll cry and scream and stamp Yes, 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 him. I know all that. But I promise I'll have him ready for you. Oh, dear, dear, this is most worrying. I wonder where Twizzle can be. It wasn't until very late that night, when the shop was closed, that Twizzle dared to come out. Dear, it was so uncomfortable in your box that I'm quite stiff. I don't think I could twizzle now if I tried. We'll have to find a better hiding place tomorrow. The shopkeeper's sure to look in here sooner or later. I can't think of anywhere else for Twizzle to hide. There's only one thing you can do, Twizzle. You'll have to run away. <laughs> but I don't want to run away. This is my home. Well, you'll have to leave it tomorrow if the little girl finds you. And it's much better to run away on your own than to belong to a naughty child. She'll pull off your arms and legs in no time at all. Oh, how awful. I can see I will have to run away. But how can I get out? The door is locked. The window's open. You can jump into the street. But I might get broken. No, you won't. You'll listen to me. And I'll tell you what to do. Go on, Twizzle. Climb up onto the window ledge. All right. it isn't. It's going to be very difficult. Just twizzle your arms and legs and you'll be able to reach the ground. Twizzle, twizzle, twizzle until he was as tall as a lamppost. Don't forget to come back and see us one day. Goodbye, teddy bear. Goodbye, gollywog. And thank you, Jack in the Box. Goodbye, twizzle. We won't forget you. And Twizzle jumped into the street and hurried off as fast as his twizzly legs would carry him. Goodbye. Goodbye. Twizzle walked for miles and miles. He walked all that night. And he walked all the next day. It's a big, lonely place, and there's no one for me to talk to except myself, which isn't much fun because I always know what I'm going to say. Oh, dear. I'm so tired. Soon it grew dark again, and the wind began to blow. Oh, my. I think I'm lost, and the wind is nearly blowing me off my feet. Hello. What a funny looking house that is. Why, it's not a house at all. It's a dog kennel, and it's just my size. So Twizzle wriggled inside and made himself comfortable. Inside it was warm and cozy. Twizzle sat and listened to the noise of the wind. 
but soon he heard a pad padding noise and a sort of snuffle. What's that? Ooh, it sounds like a very fierce animal. I do hope it won't be cross when it finds me here. Twinkle was afraid, for the padding noise was coming nearer and nearer. Then in the doorway, he saw a yellow eye. Ooh. Then he saw another yellow eye. Ooh. And a black nose and long, twitching whiskers. Why, it's a cat. Oh, hello there. What are you doing in my house? I didn't know this was your house. I thought it was a dog kennel. So it is. But I live here now. What's your name? My name is Patso. I've got such big paws, you see, that I'm always falling over them. That's why I'm called Patso. What's your name? I'm Twiggle. And I've run away from a toy shop. And I ran away from a house where I live because the children are always laughing at my big paws. <coughs> How funny. We've both run away, and we've both met each other. We'll have to be friends and stay together all the time. That's a good idea. I seem very lonely myself. Watch out. Watch out. I'm sorry. That's all right. Let's go to sleep now, and in the morning we can go looking for adventure. Come closer, cat, and I'll rest my head on your tail. Do stop making such a noise. I can't sleep. <laughs> I'm so sorry, Twiggle, but I always purr when I'm happy. We all just have to get used to it. Oh, dear. If I don't get used to it, I'll have to put some cotton wool into my ears. How nice it is. How warm and cozy. In no time at all, Twizzle and Futso were fast asleep, dreaming of all the adventures that they were going to have together. <laughs>